Next phase of the 1981 Sea Nymph 17-foot boat project. We're in the middle of sanding the hull. I flipped it upside down, as you can see. I've sanded this whole one side of it. it. Took a little bit, maybe an hour and a half or so to sand it off. It's not going to be perfect. I'm not worried about it being perfect. I'm just going to get it painted anyways. Uh, some guys will want to get all that paint off. You can get some some stripper for that at the local hardware store. Uh, that'll take it right off. You can check out some other videos on, on here to see how that works. Uh, as you can see, this side has been sanded. This side is not sanded. You can see quite a difference. Maybe you can't in this camera. It's not a very good camera, but it's this side is not sanded yet. I'll get to the back here. I'll show you how how different how the difference is. You can kind of see right here. This half is sanded off. This half is not. So the whole hull was like this, and about an hour and a half, two hours of work, and I got it looking like this. The other thing that I noticed is on the keel here. You'll notice there's no silicone on here anymore. I scraped it all off. The previous owner had just siliconed the crap out of it. And you'll go on this side, see all that extra silicone? I'm going to have to scrape all that off and clean it up. And once we get it all sanded down and taken care of, we're going to have to recheck it for leaks because I have a feeling that a lot of that silicone was stopping some leaks inside this keel. So that is what's going on next. I've got this first half of the boat sanded off. I'm going to sand the other half of the boat off. And what we used, what I've used for this project to sand it is real simple. You got your cheap little $30 palm sander. I have a square one. As you can see, it's square on the bottom. A lot of people will use a triangle one or a round one. Uh, personal choice, doesn't matter. I just This one was $29 over at the local Menard store, so that's what I bought. Get this sheet of quarter, in, quarter palm sander, 60 grit. That's what I'm using right now to sand it off, to get the heavy stuff off of it. This package of 25 is maybe 6 bucks over at the local Menards. And you get this scraper, because you're going to have some stuff you have to scrape off, like all that silicone that I'm scraping off. It's like a $4 scraper. As you can see, I don't have a whole lot invested in it so far. Pretty simple. And you, you'll want a little brush or something to brush off the excess dust and all that. One last tip on this whole thing. As you're doing this boat project sanding, trust me, it's very dusty. I have my wife's car in here. I did not realize how dusty it actually got so I'll have to go wash that one of these days for her so that's this phase we'll see you at the next phase